the, the project defines the approach, you know, so I'm ambivalent about techniques, you know, for Mad God. I definitely, I wanted to make a, like a, like a Joseph Cornell movie, a surrealist artist from the 30s and the 40s that made these beautiful boxes uh, that had, you know, all kinds of leaves and twigs and newspaper clippings and they're really beautiful. You know, those were the key inspirations, you know, for it. You know, that I always, that was, you know, kind of these visions that were in the back of my head that, you know, inspired me. You know, I'm an obsessive, you know, hoarder of stuff, you know? So during this 20 year period, I just pick up a lot of junk or something that I'll see in a, in a, a gift shop or, you know, anywhere really helped me and I included some of those in in Mad God well what I'm hoping the audience will be able to do is well you know it could be it could be anything I'm ready for anything you know really and um, it, it's gonna be personal I kind of envision this thing as you know the in totality like throwing a pot and uh, then the viewers can you know, just pick from the pot what they want, you know, and I don't care, you know, it's, it's, and, and many artists and writers work that way, is they, they want to cr create, or by, just by default, you will create a mysterious object that hopefully has some kind of logic, and over the years, I'm a very prolific dreamer, before Mad God, I would um, write down in my notebook, um, and I have, I have tons of notebooks, and so, some of the dreams are like eight or ten pages long, and a book like that. And what I wanted to do was once I build up a body of these dreams, to, to look at them and see if there was any connective tissue between them. And yeah, for a very substantial part of them, you know, maybe like 50%, maybe more. Actually, it came down to it. It was like everything. Well, number one would be Paul Verhoeven, because we had a very similar kind of a worldview, you know, uh, philosophically and politically. And uh, he, Paul was actually a really terrific mentor, you know, from working with him and just being, I and mean, that's, that's where I was so lucky, you know, because I would work with all these terrific directors and it was like going to school, film school, which I never went to because I couldn't afford it. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's, that's just kind of the way it worked.